So now that we've got the electronics portion of this all sorted, I'm going to start restoring the lenses. So, I'm not too sure what to do with this. I've never had much luck with doing lights. Well, my plan is to sand it with 400 grit, try and remove as many of the scratches and stuff as I can. It's got crazing in it, which you're never going to be able to remove. But we'll go over it till we get rid of a fair few of the scratches. Then we'll spray the whole thing, I think, with plastic adhesion promoter. Then we'll paint the orange ends with red nightshade and then do a 2K clear over the top. Hopefully it comes out looking at least better. You can see the lights going all yellow. This is a new, like a brand new sanding disc. So there is like sun damaged plastic and stuff coming off. So hopefully it, um, it all comes off and we get something that looks good at the end. So it's obviously, I can't, it's so glare, I can't tell it's in focus or not. It's obviously very chalky now because it's sanded, but it looks like that's pretty much all the deep scratches removed out of it. I was prepared to lose this sticker off the top here, but it turns out the sticker is actually printed on the bottom side of the sticker, so most of it stayed on there, which is nice. Obviously the cracks are never going to sand out and the crazing, but the bigger gouges that were in it all seem to be gone. So I'll do the other side and then work on it from there. So I've got my trailer still sitting in the booth, which I found this awesome Honda wheel cover for. But um, it's only clear coat I'm spraying, so it'll be right if it, like you won't notice if it does get an overspray on it. This is both sides of the light, and like all the individual bits are stacked up, so that makes them easy to paint. I've got these two. I'm just gonna tape up these end badge things, and then plastic adhesion primer, which is just like a clear primer to help paint stick to plastic. Gonna nightshade those red and then clear coat the whole thing. It's never gonna be a perfect match to the actual white, but it's better than having orange end caps. These have had like 10 minutes to dry with the plastic primer on them. And we'll give it a coat of this and then let this dry and do the actual clear coat. It's already going very badly. So, see these huge cracks? that are appearing like straight away. Last time I tried to clear coat some tail lights, it did the same thing. And this time I thought if I put the plastic primer, it would stop it, but it's still doing it. So I'm gonna let these dry and then sand it off and do it again. So I've sanded them back. The cracks are now like much smaller, but there's still heaps of them there. I've got no idea why it does that. And I'm just gonna leave it at this point. I've done like maybe five coats now and they are starting to actually like they look red whereas before they were like red but still shone through orange now they're shining through red compared to the actual thing they look a bit brown but it's still a big improvement on the um the orange they were so we'll give them a bit more time to dry properly and then come and give everything a coat of clear coat i really hope the clear coat doesn't start to do that cracking thing on these but we'll just find out i guess had a couple of coats of clear on it. It looks pretty shiny now. You can still see all the um, all the crazing in it, which is a bit disappointing, but I didn't expect that to stay. As far as all the scratches and everything though, all the scratches and gouges are all gone. It looks pretty like nice and new. I should have taped up the backside here because the overspray has gone in and made the inside a bit foggy. So I'll just give that a wipe and a polish with some like thinners or something once it's done. And that should fix that. These, the cracks are there, but the clear coats filled them in pretty well, so you can only see them at like the right angle. They're obviously a little bit darker than that bit, which I knew they would be because I'm trying to cover up the orange. But once they're in the, like they look extra dark because they're on this back piece. Once they're in the air, they look all right. But I think overall, for whatever these lights cost, 50 or 60 bucks, it's much improvement. Oh yeah, one of the best bits after painting something. It's a shame it's got such a big crack in it, but once again, 80 bucks. And that's pretty much it. 
Unfortunately, <laughs> there's these little dots. This is something I've only ever seen on like how-to videos. It's solvent pop. It's from too much paint going on at once or trying to dry it too quickly and the bubbles come out from underneath. Because it's two pack, I should be able to let it dry and then buff it and they'll disappear. So that's a bit disappointing, but I'm still pretty happy with it. As far as how it looked compared to when I got it, it's like so shiny and glossy. It doesn't have all the scratches and stuff in it. The end caps are as good as I could have possibly hoped for. Like they're a little bit darker, but compared to the orange ones and compared to how much like a set of proper ones that were red on the ends and stuff, I'm pretty like happy with it. The um the cracks are still sort of visible if you look close enough, like all the creases through it, but the thing like the clear filled most of it in. The siren stuff's all fitted up nicely. So as far as the lights go, that's pretty much it for the police car build. But actually start working on the car now. So I'm just gonna hook it up for the final bit and see how they look. So my issues that I was having with so many lacks of amps from all these different power supplies when I was bodging up, I realized my jump start pack well supplies enough amperage to run this. As things as it starts a car. So here we go. Let's see how orange the end caps still look. Oh yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Man, Japanese police lights look freaking cool with the mechanical thing inside them. You can see the end caps, I reckon that's pretty much perfect. You can't tell they used to be orange in any way. <laughs> that's awesome. Super pleased with that. Oh, it's going to be so sick on the car. 